Right now at the State House, another oversight hearing is underway on the troubles with the company the state hired to transport Rhode Islanders to doctor's appointments. And we've been tracking the complaints against MTM for months, ranging from rides being late to people being left stranded. I would assume supporter Rob Nesmith joins us now live from the State House with an update. Rob? The meeting is still going on. It started around 5 p.m. to hear an update on the complaints made against MTM and what they're doing to resolve those issues. MTM has been responsible for coordinating transportation to the elderly and Medicaid beneficiaries since January. In that time, there have been almost 1,300 complaints against the vendor, saying the service was delayed or that no driver showed up at all. MTM is also being investigated by the Rhode Island Division public utilities and carries due to complaint. They conspired with taxi operators to operate outside of their authorized territories and charge illegal rates. Vice President of MTM Public Affairs Phil Stahlberger says his company has significantly improved operations since taking over the contract. And so we're currently today providing 5,000 trips per day in the state of Rhode Island, and I'd say things are going a lot better than they were. Anytime you, you know, start a new contract, you're going to have some troubles, but we've uh, right-sized the contract, and we feel like we're on par. There were 229 complaints made against MTM in September compared to the 1,300 in January. That's an improvement, but at tonight's meeting, Representative Patricia Serpa said maybe it's time, that number means it's time to cut their losses and, quote, end the contract with MTM. And um, the meeting is still going on. We're going to have an update tonight at 10:11 on what we hear. Live at the State House, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.